<laughs> Story arc over! We did it! You dumb fuckers thought it would never end. But as we enter 2020, we are left with no other option than to tie up our loose ends, move forward, and begin anew. Now cut the damn music! Everything that's happened in Brain Dump so far, that's just been the prologue. Now's when the real show starts. But of course, I can't do Brain Dump without my lovely assistant and good personal friend. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to proudly introduce to you... Burnbot 2.0! Ta-da! Burnbot, play the ta-da sound. Long story short, she agreed to return to the show if I agreed to go to Radio Shack and buy her some new parts. Which unfortunately means I had to actually go into a Radio Shack. <laughs> that place smells like a funeral home. And she also insists on being paid now for some reason, so some of her insults are going to be sponsored from now on, if that's okay with you guys. How you feeling, Burnbot? All operations running at optimal efficiency, you pompous, insensitive, white trash cockwaffle. Well, that certainly does sound like something Burnbot would say. Looks like the status quo has been effectively reinstated. And Burnbot, even though you technically are an object, I'm sorry I treated you like one. Apology offered and apology accepted. Moving on. No need to dwell on this any further. It's totally wrapped up and we can finally- <coughs> Okay, I'm sorry! <laughs> I'm sorry for the things I said, Birdbot! I'm sorry about everything! I'm sorry I don't call my mom more often! I'm sorry I don't tip Uber drivers! I'm sorry for all my problematic jokes! I'm sorry for everyone I've ever been obnoxious to because I was too socially retarded to know how to interact the right way! I'm sorry that I'm a lazy glutton who smokes weed and orders Grubhub all the time! I'm sorry that I'm white and I have a penis. I'm sorry for all the internet piracy. I'm sorry I was emotionally distant from every girl I've ever dated. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's everything. That's everything I'm sorry for. That's as sorry as I can possibly be. <laughs> I want to be a good person. I really do. But nobody ever taught me how because I never had any friends. <laughs> oh. And I'm sorry I said retarded just now. I know I'm not supposed to say that word anymore, but it's hard because I've been saying it my whole life and I forget sometimes. I don't mean nothing by it. I just forget is all. I just forget is all. I don't mean nothing by it. I just forget is all. <laughs> Would have preferred chocolate, but whatever. You know, Burnbot, the things that you do really are incredible. I'm never taking you for granted ever again. Trust me, basically everything fell apart when you left. And I had to spend a whole year alone with Goofball. Oof, I don't want to have to go through that again. I heard Burnbot got a redesign, so I was in the other room just now redesigning myself. Okay. I don't know what that means, but it sounds disgusting, and I'm praying to Christ that you please do not elaborate any further. Fair enough. You know, I don't think we reached any kind of conclusion regarding whether or not Burnbot can think. Well, Goofball, I guess we will just have to leave that up to the imagination of our audience. <coughs> eh, that sounds like a cop-out. <sighs> why couldn't you have been the one that left the show? That would have been perfect. Gee! Why do you always have to be so nasty? You know, you don't have to take your misery out on me. You are my misery, goofball. You're the source of it. My entire existence would be exponentially better without you. Better off without me, huh? Well, look at this. I made a little Burnbot paper craft. And the best part is we can put a link to the file in the video description so everybody can download it and print it out and make one themselves. And that way everybody can have a Burnbot of their very own. It's adorable! Oh, you like it? Well, I guess it's a good thing I was here then. Grumble, mumble, fumble, stumble, rumble. It's okay, you can thank me later. Well, while we're on the subject of your arts and crafts projects, can you please stop hanging these up around the apartment? What? It's funny. 
It's not funny. It's creepy and weird and I don't like it. Now get out of here. Anything you say, love of my life, fire of my loins. <sighs> what do you think, Burnbot? Who do you ship me with? Oh, how flattering. Well, I suppose I walked into that one. Today's auto-generated insult was brought to you by Audible. Is there some loudmouth ghost yapping in your ear? Well, then plug into an Audible audiobook and drown that sucker out! Sign up for a 30-day trial today and get one free audiobook and two free Audible originals. Just visit audible.com slash goofball or text goofball to 500-500. So, what should you listen to? Well, if you were dissatisfied with the conclusion of our story arc, might I suggest Human Compatible, Artificial Intelligence and the Problem of Control, written by Stuart Russell and as narrated by Raphael Corkhill. If you want to find out if machines can think or not, this will give you a unique perspective. Or, if that sounds too cerebral, might I suggest Green Eggs and Ham as narrated by Georgie Boy from Seinfeld. This is real. If you're too young to know who that is, he's the guy from the baseball meme. So once again, visit audible.com slash goofball or text goofball to 500-500. You're not going to regret it. <laughs> Sit and spin, you slimy clown bitch bumbaclat. See, now that's the kind of stuff that we've been missing around here. <sighs> Much better.